In this video, I'm going to show you the fillet command. So the fillet command is right up here. I'm on the home ribbon. It's under the modify panel, and it's this guy right here, F-I-L-L-E-T. It's not pr pronounced fillet, it's fillet. But how this works, what this is going to do is it's going to take two edges, two lines, and it's going to bring them together in a curve. So where we can have an arc right here. So I'll show you how it works. I'm going to do the fillet command. The key to the fillet command is right when you first start it. I've only clicked to start the command. Do not click anywhere else or, or type anything at all. Look down at the command line and we see all these options. Undo, polyline, radius, trim, multiple. What we're going to do is we're going to type R, enter for radius. And we know we're typing R because that's the capital letter in the word radius. It's the blue letter in the word radius. So when we do this, we need to specify what the radius is before we begin. So I'm going to type R, enter for radius. Now it wants to know what that fillet radius is. Let me just go ahead and make it one. Enter. And now you can click the edges. I'm going to click here. And here, notice it's kind of showing me what it's going to look like. And uh, when I click, that's it. I'm done. And basically what it did is it created an arc right here and it trimmed these lines back. The cool thing about this is now that I have an arc in here or that fillet, when I start any other command, I'm going to do it with a circle. But now if I hover next to that arc, I get a center O snap. And now I can make a circle here that is concentric with that fillet or that arc. So that's how it works. Let's do it one more time. So fillet, before you click anywhere, R, enter. It remembers my last radius. So if you're going to do a couple of radiuses at the same time, then that's, you know, you could leave it open like that. This time I'll do, mm, I don't know, let's do a 0.5. Press enter. And I'll just click here and click here and you can see how easy that is. But the key to this command is before you click anywhere, before you do anything, type R, enter, and then type in your radius and press enter and then continue with that command. Now that's how you would normally use the fillet command. For the most part, that's how we do it. I wanna show you a really cool thing about the fillet command. And so I've drawn all these kind of crazy shapes over here, but the fillet command actually uh, can do so much more. I'm going to type or click on the fillet command. This time I'm going to type R, enter, and I'm going to set my radius to zero. So this is a cool trick that even people who have been using AutoCAD for years don't even uh, know this trick sometimes. So I'm going to set my radius to zero. Normally what I would have to do to square off this corner right here, I would have to trim and trim. But if I set my radius to zero, I just click on those two lines and it brought them together in a perfect corner. So it basically trimmed those lines out. In this particular case, I would have to uh, just trim this one line. So I'll do fillet, R, enter, double check my radius is set to zero. I can also do M, enter. So notice at the, at the command line down there, M is for multiple. So normally that fillet command just ends right after the first time you use it. If you type M, enter, it'll stay active with that same fillet. So I'm staying active with a fillet radius of zero. And I'll click here and here, and it just trimmed that line out. I am going to click here. Now this one would be a really difficult one to do because you would need to extend to a line and extend this one, but, but the extend command would not work because you need an object to extend to. So there's nothing, you know, this, uh, this line right here would not be able to extend to, because there's nothing, no object to extend to, if that makes sense. I'm going to click here and I'll click here and it extended them both to each other. Here I'm going to extend and then trim. Click and click and it just brings it to a perfect corner. And I drew this just to show you it does not have to be a right angle. Any two lines can do it. Here's a cool thing. I didn't draw the example for it, but I can now. If I have two lines even next to each other and I do a fillet, make sure my radius, so R, enter, zero, enter. 
I'm going to click on this line and click on this line. It brings them together, but since they're parallel to each other, it actually brought it together in an arc. So I could do the same thing here and here. Notice I didn't click R enter because I knew that the radius was already set to zero. So that's it. That is the fillet command. We use that command all the time. Mostly we use that command for this right here when you're bringing it to a specific radius for an outer edge like that.